So if I'm coming forward and doing my shit and he starts leaning back, right? What's something to do? There's videos already out where, oh, you can like shoot for the takedown or, oh, you can uh, leg kick or stuff like that. I'm gonna show you a really cool leaping left hook, something similar to a gazelle punch for when the dude leans back. Yeah, I don't know why I went for that one. Dude, wiping your ass is, it matters which hand you wipe with. Yeah. Like, while I wipe with my right hand, I feel like I am just absolutely devastating the shit that's in there. You know what I mean? Like I'm like marauding, I'm pillaging that shit village that is my ass yeah. with my viking of a right hand. And then when my left hand goes in there to try to, uh, you know, invade, it's like, excuse me, um, uh, may we come in? Like I'm jabbing, get your head lean back. I come low to get your hands down low. I'm gonna go, like that. Yeah, yeah. So, you do that. Jab, jab. Like that. So it's like a gazelle punch. Some people call this a leaping left hook. What it basically looks like is maybe I jab to get his leaning back. Maybe I start hunkering down low. When you start coming at somebody like a cockroach, their hands will get right here, especially if you've been tearing up the body. Ugh. And what we're gonna do is all in one motion, I'm gonna jump, turn, and just let the hook go. This is the motion. Now, common misconception, because it kind of creates an optical illusion. It looks like I'm taking a trajectory that goes like around him, which is impossible. I can't change direction in midair. It's a straight jump. It's a straight shot at him. Boom, like this. Uh, the footwork for it. As I move in on him, if I can get his feet close together, like through whatever I'm doing, this is like the perfect time. My feet are essentially gonna change the direction they're facing like 180. Like I just do this. And if you wanna get better at it, just do the footwork in isolation. This foot replaces this foot and both of them turn 180. Like this right here. This is, gonna tighten this thing up. We rotate, boom, like this. Just let this happen. If you, if you want it, like Tyson used to throw like a, boom, he would, add the arm into it which is cool too but the idea is we want to make this a tight deliberate intelligent hook not just a leaping ferocious brawling style attack being wild with it worked for tyson because he was tyson but you're not tyson so we get him moving around we get him worried about us being down low we move forward like a little cockroach like when you cut the lights on and the fucking cockroach comes like at you like an idiot and you're like eh, eh, eh. You know, and he like keeps coming at you. You want to be that cockroach. So I'm moving in on him like this, getting the back pedal, getting him to worry about that shit. And then boom. Boom. Like that. Don't overextend. Don't reach. Don't be thirsty for it. Just pop up. Turn that thing over. And if you practice in real life, boom, like other shit's going to happen. But just like rechambering a kick, practicing coming back, the reverse of way you, the way you went, is important to understand the footwork. So I like to teach people, you know, slip to the outside maybe. We go bop, and then bring it back. Bop, bing, bop, bing, bop, bing. Just like that. Let's just run through it a couple more times. Give me a good solid target right here. I want to get a couple good, good, like, uh, yeah, keep that other hand up because I'm rusty and a little off balance. Yeah. This actually makes a big difference with the balance. I noticed because you almost caught me on one. Yeah, like, I'm, if you, this is supposed to be here and just this change changes everything about my balance. Boom. See, I missed. That sucks.
Now, if you want more fitness tips, self-defense techniques, gear reviews, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications.